Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Build. Obviously, last time on Let's Build, we built the lovely Japanese temple. Today, I want to build something a bit different. I'm going to build an igloo with a secret way into... Basically, like a secret way into it. So, first of all, what we're going to do is... You're probably thinking, why is, it, why is he putting plant, pl plant pots down there? There is a reason behind it. Oop, wrong one. So, to make it like a secret sort of like base, really, I am using quartz because I need a slab. But we can cover that up a bit later. So, it's alright. So, what you want to do is, I have a garden material that is very important, that's vital. The boat. Now, people are probably thinking, why has he got a boat? You'll find out in a minute. It's like a secret tunnel. It's a way to make it look like you're crawling, basically. So now we've got that in, what I might need to do is actually make this a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. So what we will do is we'll make it a tiny bit bigger. There we go. You can always change it back after, it's fine. And then what you want to do is, you want to go through here, just to move the boat. So at this minute in time, you're just moving the boat. And then, it's just so you can cover all this up. And then, okay, now that's all hidden. So right now, that's all it looks like. But this isn't the igloo, this is the way into the igloo. So what we're going to do is, we're going to make it up a bit more, and we're going to make the igloo look a bit more like an igloo, really. So, obviously you can tell that I've done a circle, twos and threes, that's how I'm, that's how I'm going to do it anyway. And then you just want to build it up a bit more. Now so it doesn't look weird, like obviously on this side you have it like that. What you can do, so it doesn't stand out too much, you can put that in there. Oh no, maybe one down. There you go. So it just looks a bit different. But it's still going to be the same old igloo. It's just going to look less suspicious, really. So, like right now. I'm going to actually build this up a bit more. If I remember correctly, that should be fine. So then what you want to do is probably start building the glue up properly. Don't need it like that. I'll delete all the blocks I don't need after, so don't worry. So what you want to do is just sort of like start filling in your roof and that really. You've done your entrance and it's really sneaky, it's well hidden and the only people that will ever be able to get into it without breaking your blocks, in all honesty, should be you. So if you were in like a world and you didn't want people invading your nice little home, what world is that? And then like where can do is if I come in here now. I still haven't done the floor so just bear with me a second. Here we go. And then could sort of have snow floor and then just put carpet over it really. There's me breaking more than I needed to. So sort of like build it like however you want. You can do the interior however you want. It's just I'm just doing it like this to save time and to make it as fast as I can. So like, for example, there you go. And then what you could do is just put white carpet all in here. So it looks fine in here as well. And get all this just fixed up. So basically, oh, what I was doing with the boat was I've put it underneath. So what you've got now is you've got this weird viewpoint. You don't even need that viewpoint, you could cover that up if you really wanted to somehow. But obviously I can't because of the way I've done it. But now, as you can see, you're inside your igloo. I'm going to do a bit of an interior before I actually decide to go out. 
So like, say you wanted two beds. There you go, there's one. There's two. Could have like two beds there. How, have it however you want, but this is just how I'd do it. So I'd like, probably have a furnace in the middle. A nice crafting table one side and then maybe, I know it's water and it's cold anyway. But what we'll do is, uh, don't need plant pots anymore, we'll get rid of them. Then what you can do is just put water in there. So sort of like have a sink or something. Then whatever you want to do with the other side, me I'll just, pers personally I'll just put a, uh, what's it called there? A plant of some form, maybe. Maybe a desk. Do a desk. That's what I'll do. I'll make it out of acacia wood because I like acacia wood. Uh, we'll get rid of the water. And then we'll get the rest of the acacia wood. Have an acacia wood desk in here. There you go. Looking beautiful. There you go. Got a nice acacia wood desk. And you could just put, like, say, a plant pot on it with something in. I don't know why I got rid of the plant pot now I think about it. Uh, you could have a rose in it. There you go. Nice rose even though it looks more like yeah it looks like a rose on this texture could have like two there there you go problem solved and there you go that's all like your interior done you can obviously put torches wherever you want me i'd probably to make it a bit more like my type i'd probably put redstone torches in instead not that it's oh there's me breaking things i don't need to sorry about that there you go, just sort of like... Okay, you can't do it on that side. But what I'd probably do there is stick it like that. Or put maybe put the rows in the middle. And then just put the torches like that. There. there you go, it's nice and lit up now. But then what I'd do is I'd jump into the... This is how you'd get in and out. So it looks like you're actually crawling, which is kind of weird. But you can only go forwards, which is really awesome. So like, there you go, you're out. And then when you want to get in, you just jump on and go through. Which is very obvious. You can only crawl forwards though, that's, I guess that's the only downfall, but it does look awesome. I think it's an awesome mid glue. If you ever want to shorten like the entrance, you can. Just make it full just so you can move the boat out of the way. And maybe go all the way in like this. Walk in like that. I'll quickly uh, get out snow and some grass blocks just so I can fix it all up. Oh, there you go. Put like a snow block there like that. And then just come over this side. Just break all this. And then just grass block that up and there you go made it shorter but then I think yeah people can get in easier the shorter it is but it still looks nice either way I think it's a nice little home no risks of zombies breaking down your doors either and that is one awesome igloo should we see it at night see what it looks like at night not that you'll be able to see it because it's not lit up as well as the other one at night it just looks like your ordinary glue still lit up a bit but looks awesome oh, I could put there you go you can make this a bit bigger there you go run solved oh. there we go I'm in look how awesome that is didn't take long to build it all either. There you go, you could have it a bit bigger like that. Then you got a nice little awesome igloo to feel very at home in. I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> there we go. Oh god, and obviously, because if where I put the beds, I spawned outside. Ah, uh, looks like he's having fun, silly zombie. Uh, if you wanted to make it feel a bit more homely, you could probably spawn in a villager 
or what I'm going to do on mine. I'm going to make mine a bit more homely for me. One, two. There you go. We got a firefighter of some form. As they say, you gotta love it. There you go. And we've got our lovely snow golem firefighter in here as well. And your house, well your igloo, should I say, yeah. That looks awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna end that there. And I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. And, well, goodbye, my friends.